Okay, and then I also. Hello. Good morning, everyone. My alarm just went off, and it is currently 6 a.m. in the morning. I have to get to school around 7:45. So I'm gonna open the curtains because it is really dark in here, and I don't want to like run into a wall. Let's go. Ah, never mind. It is way too bright. Too early for me, you guys. It's way too early. So first thing in the morning, I usually grab a water. Not grab a water. Okay. But first, I probably should make my bed. I'm gonna be productive this morning and make my bed. Promise I make my bed every morning. I promise. Totally. Okay, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and wash my face, so let's go. We're gonna head to the bathroom to brush our teeth and wash our face. So let me brush my teeth really quick and I'll come back to you with my face wash. So the first thing I usually do is I brush my teeth. up I use this clip so this is the face wash I use and I prefer foaming cleanser over the normal one okay now that I look like a marshmallow I'm gonna wash this off still waking up so that is probably why I have such low energy right now Okay, so I'm gonna brush my teeth and then I will show you guys what I usually do for my face routine. Okay, so first off, I start with this hydrating foaming cleanser. I'm gonna use this first and then I go in with this afterwards. But before I do that, I have to put my hair up. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we are back in my room for a good moisturizer. So this right here is my skincare drawer. I usually keep all of my skincare in there. So first I go in with the CeraVe moisturizer. It is super lightweight. So I use two moisturizers. I use this one and then I use this one. This one is for when my face is like not so dry. And this one is for my face when it's really dry. So I'm gonna use this one today because my face is kind of dry today. All right, now I'm going to start on my makeup. Okay, so, so I went to an event. So I went to an event. Dude! So I went to an event recently and it's from Pixie. It's kind of refreshing. So first I go in with this CeraVe eye cream under both of my eyes. These are the two serums I use. This one is from Bliss and this one is from CeraVe. Next, I go in with my favorite, which is Aquaphor, and I put this on my lips. Okay, next I go in with this Pixie Milk Mist just all over my face. Okay, so after I finish my skincare, I usually curl my hair. I know some people do makeup before hair, but I like to do my hair before I do my makeup. So these are the products that I use for my hair. So the first thing I do is I put like eyeliner like under my eyes. Where did it go? And honestly, I've had so many eyeliners. I think that they all work. There's some in my eye. Ah! I just kind of like draw it like all the way. So this is the difference. Okay, I finished both eyes. The next thing I do is I use this Milk Hydra Grip Primer. This one is very good. Plugged in. So first up, I go in with this Iron Guard Heat Protector. This is the heat protector. I just spray it everywhere. After I section it into two pieces, I like to clip this part back so I have more access to like the hair underneath. Yeah, that's super cute. Should I do this hairstyle, you guys? So I have tried so many concealers and all of them are like kind of crusty, but this one is so good. So it's called Winky Lux. To blend my concealer, I spray a little bit of setting spray and this is the setting spray. It is called Energy Fix Rose Quartz Fixing Spray. First, we start off with this front piece. I take it and I clamp it like this. Then we're gonna pull it down and we are going to turn it backwards. Then you're gonna have like a little bit of hair right here. Pull it down and you're gonna clamp it again and you're gonna turn it back. So you can rewatch the video right there if you wanna see how to do it again. So that's what I like to do on all of my strands. I do it the same way every time. I do that until I feel like it's good and then I pull it down completely so it straightens the end piece. Okay, so 
so I finished my concealer. Look how much better that looks under my eyes. I don't look like so tired. Cause it is kind of early for me. I usually get up at around like eight, nine, 10 ish. And it's like 6.30 right now. So I think I'm just gonna use this one as foundation to put a little bit right here. So then I respray it. I put bronzer on, this is from Milk. So I put some up here, some on the sides. They look kind of scary, guys. Okay, I'm gonna blend all of this out. Finished blending my bronzer. I finished curling this section of my hair. Now I'm gonna go in with this glued hairspray. Now that we are all done with our first section, we are gonna take this top section. I like to go from the back to the front on this part. So we are going to do the same thing on this section. Okay, I finished all of these curls. Now we're gonna take the front section and we are going to take this and face the front with it, but we are gonna slide it down a little bit further than usual. This is the difference between sides. I just hairsprayed this side and now we are gonna move on to this side. I just finished curling this side and now I'm gonna take out this top section so I can curl that. Now moving on to blush. I'm pretty sure I have two different, are those the same shade? So moving on to blush, I use the milk blush. I get a blush brush. I kind of just put it on like that. Make sure to put my blush up here and then over. So that's basically where I put my blush. Ever since I switched over to using setting spray on my beauty blenders, my makeup has gone on so much better. After that, I just use a brow brush and I just brush my eyebrows like this. And then I just do the other side the exact same. Moving on to eyeshadow, I use the brown. So I just apply it like that. And I like to make my eyeshadow kind of like go out a little bit. So I'm gonna do eyeshadow on my other eye and I'll be right back. Then I do my eyeshadow. So I grab like a brush. It kind of looks like that. I just put it like under my eyes. You can also use this step to kind of comb out any parts in the back of your hair. So that's my everyday routine for my hair because I know a lot of you have requested it. So. so yeah, that's what I usually do for my hair. Eyeshadow is done. I'm going to put like this like chapstick like aquaphor thing. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Bombastic side eye. And then there, that's how it looks. The mascara that I use is the telescopic mascara. But they're long and they look good. So then I just I just apply it to the ends. So that's what it looks like. I always get it on my eyelids. I grab a Q-tip and I just like wipe it off. So I grab a brush that kind of looks like this. So this is basically like highlighter. The only thing I use for this palette is this one. So I get about that much on it, and then I apply it to like the inner corner of my eyes. And I try to make it as thin as possible. So before I do anything, I go in with my moisturizer. These are the two different types of primer I use. I use this one if I have to keep my makeup on all day, and I use this one if I'm just going for something really quick. I am going to use this one today because I have a long day today. So I just apply, oh, whoops. So I just apply this in like three little drops all over my face. Before I do my base, I like to start off with my mascara. This one is my telescopic, and I just use an eyelash curler. I don't really have any special techniques for like eyelash curling. So then I use this lip gloss. The lip gloss is done. At the very end, when I finish all of my makeup, get the setting spray. Oh my gosh, it's gone in my eye. Ow! Okay, so I finished my makeup and now I'm going to move on to my hair. I successfully got the, oops, I have to section my hair. So now that I look so fabulous, <laughs> I'm gonna spray it. Oh my gosh, guys, I look like I have a taco on my head. And I put my two fingers above it, put it in at the top, and I twist it away from my face. And then I pull it out of the clip. So I start with the back section. I always curl and start like at the roots. Now I go in with my telescopic mascara. So for my mascara, I like to first go in and coat like the entire lash and then I go in and go like that. So it looks longer and like thicker than it is. 
So this eye is almost done and then I move on to this side. So for face makeup, I go in with my all time favorite Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and I use this beauty blender to blend it out. I love this product so much because it's literally like a filter, like you have like a smooth filter on yourself. I've been using this for like a couple months now and I feel like it lasts so long. Ah, whoops. I just blend this out all over my face. I usually wouldn't wear like makeup to school, but I have filming afterwards, so that's why I'm doing this. Next, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I love all of like Charlotte Tilbury's like products because they all like seem to blend out really well. This is what it looks like after I curl everything. So now that I'm done curling my hair, I use this like red tooth comb and I just go like this. This is what it looks like. I actually use dry shampoo to make my hair have more volume. Guys, this literally just ran out. Oh my gosh. Definitely way more volume. So then I flip my hair upside down. And then look how much volume. Next, I go in with my milk makeup. I don't know what brush this is, but this is the shade this shade is Work from Milk, and I go in and I just go like this on my cheeks. I do the same to the other side. I just put like two dots on each side just to make it like glow a little bit. My hair is a little bit frizzy. To fix that, I use this. I don't know, it smells really good. That was way too much. Uh-oh, what do I do? Okay, that worked better than I thought. That's a lot. Okay guys, I finished my hair and makeup. Now I go in with this light medium Winky Lux concealer. I only put a little bit because I use two different concealers. So I just put it like this right under my eyes. Now I go in with a tiny bit smaller beauty blender and I just blend that out under my eyes. Then I go in with this CoverGirl concealer and I put it on like the ends to lift up my eyes. I go in with this Maybelline lip stain and I just go in with a little bit so that my lips have a little bit of color. Then I go in with some Aquaphor because I love Aquaphor. We are finished with makeup, which means now it is time to pick out jewelry and then I get to pick out my outfit, which is my favorite part. I'm going to put on some jewelry. These are the earrings I'm gonna wear today. Oh, I have this really cute bracelet. So what the bracelet looks like. And this is a life hack. If you don't have anybody to put your bracelet on, you put it on your hand. Oops. If I can get it. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. Just go ask someone to put it on. Ah! Okay, I have all of my rings on and my bracelet. I'm gonna wear this necklace. Okay, I finished everything I need to do in here and now I'm going to go pick my outfit. I have 15 minutes to do that, so I have to go quick. I put my earrings in last night, so I already have those on. So I think I'm gonna go with this one to layer and then this one as the main necklace with that little sign. Time to pick out an outfit and we have my messy, messy closet. Please ignore that. Hello, the light's on. Ow! I like think I wanna wear pants. I don't know though. I mean, I kind of like this. I still can't believe it's like 60 degrees outside. It's like summer, isn't it? Oh wait, hello? Could do these brown jeans. I do really like these. Hold on. There's like this white crop top that I could wear with it. I feel like that's like a good like neutral. We'll keep this as an option. Or I just got this really cute blue top and I can wear it with like white jean shorts. I could also do this outfit with my black cargos. I feel like this is too much for school though. I feel like I like this. I'm not sure. I'm going to try on the brown cargos and the white top to see how that looks. Okay, you guys, I think I like this a lot more. Now we have to pick out shoes. This is what we're looking at. I think I'm gonna go with these. So let's put these on and then I need to pack my bag. Oh, my ring just fell. Okay, so I kind of feel like wearing jeans today. It is 62 degrees outside, which is not that warm. So I think I'm gonna wear like pants. Okay, I think I'm gonna wear this top. I think so. Oh, I was trying to get these jeans out and like my whole rack of pants just fell down. Um, and then I'm gonna wear them with these jeans. They're like cargo, so they're really cute. And then these are the shoes I'm gonna wear with them. Okay guys, I'm going to do a transition. One, two, three. Okay guys, this is the outfit. All right, let's go. 
Yo guys, I'm running late, so I gotta go quick. My backpack with me, I have to grab a water, a lunch, and then I think I'm good. Before we go, you guys, I actually spray some hand sanitizer, and then I also grab some perfume. Okay, and then I also, hello. This one is usually my favorite. This is the Dior one. I think today we're gonna go with my Dior. This is my classic. I always wear this one and I love it so much. It literally smells so good. If you don't have it, go get it. Okay, now that that's all finished, I'm going to grab my Stanley and my backpack and we are on our way out. Okay, I'm packing some oranges and I'm packing a salad. Comment below what your favorite food to pack for a snack is. I have like five minutes left and then we have to leave. You guys are in my fridge now. I'm gonna grab this, this is my favorite. I'm gonna grab a salad. Chicken Caesar salad. Okay, this is the lunch for today. It's time to make breakfast, and most people don't eat this for breakfast, but I'm making spaghetti and meatballs. I don't know how you eat that. I get some egg bites. I get these. These you heat these up for one minute, and they're done. So I'm gonna heat these up in the microwave. Ha! Huh. You know what? Spaghetti's really good, guys. Don't throw this away. <laughs> okay, so, uh, wait, I forgot how to cook this. Three, two, one. To heat this in the microwave. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my gosh, I just spilled ice everywhere. Okay, I filled my water up and now I'm ready to leave. It is 7.45 and we're on our way out. guys we just got into the car before we go to school we usually go to starbucks so let's go can you guys guess what drink we're gonna get i bet you can i bet you can <laughs> and comment down below what starbucks drink you guys get all right you guys we got our pink drinks look how pink they are we got like white foam in them so they're really good i recommend you guys trying them and don't forget to like, like subscribe and turn on those post notifications love you